Mervyn Malcolm Dimely came to America from Trinidad, West Indies, when he was 19 years old to study journalism at Lincoln University in Jefferson City, Missouri. He finished his undergraduate degree in California at Los Angeles State University, where the weather was more suitable for a Caribbean native. He became a teacher of handicapped students in Los Angeles Unified School District. While teaching, he joined the Young Democrats and served as state treasurer. In 1960, he was actively involved in the Democratic National Convention in Los Angeles and served as field coordinator for the John F. Kennedy campaign for president. In 1962, he successfully ran for the state assembly and embarked upon a political career and lifelong mission to advance the interests of disenfranchised people in California, throughout the United States, and around the world. Some 50 years ago, I came to the California Assembly, then went on to the Senate, served as Lieutenant Governor under Governor Jerry Brown, then went to Washington, D.C., where I served as Chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, came home in retirement, and then returned to the California Assembly for six years. Mr. Donnelly is a consummate politician. He's a behind the scenes operator. And most of the things that he's done, I don't think he really gets credit for them. I mean, he has, he has done some phenomenal things uh, that we kind of take for granted now, but you know his career spans so many years and, and so many different positions that you have to try to track him uh, to really keep up with his accomplishments. But in California, when he was in the legislature, he was uh, one of the members who made sure that women had e uh, uh, equal property rights. Uh, he, in Congress, was the guy who got the Japanese their reparations. Every time I see him, I ask him, where are ours? And uh, he has, uh, he, when he, at uh, one time he was flown back in to break the tie to decriminalize uh, same-sex relationships long before the movement picked up today for same-sex marriage and and uh, all of the things that are going on now to try to bring the uh, LGBT community into prime uh, equal rights of their own. And so he's a gentleman that operates behind the scenes. He doesn't make a whole bunch of fuss about it, but he is very effective. Mr. Dimely has broken down many barriers and opened many doors for minorities and is considered the godfather of African-American politics in California. As chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, Mr. Dimely flew to Brazil to accept a peace award for Nelson Mandela, while Mandela was still imprisoned in South Africa. He then flew to South Africa to deliver the award to Dr. Mackey Mandela, Mandela's daughter, on behalf of her famous father. When Mr. Dimely left Congress, he began cultivating relationships all over the world to promote social equity and global progress. He traveled to Cuba with the Reverend Jesse Jackson to meet with Fidel Castro. He traveled extensively to Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean as a foreign affairs consultant. And he worked to improve politics and public policy in his native Trinidad. Well, Merv has been a part of my life in California ever since I worked for Jerry Brown in uh, Governor Brown's first administration. Uh, Mr. Donnelly was the Lieutenant Governor, which seemed very it was strange to me that in California we had an African-American who was Lieutenant Governor and how that came about is really still a mystery to me how he was able to accomplish that. Here's a man who came from very humble roots in Trinidad, uh, was not a great scholar in education, but he managed to get through the system and get himself a PhD, just like he managed to get himself wired right politically so that he could move through almost every level of government um, known and moved to prominence. And so lieutenant governor, congressman, assemblyman, assembly member, then assembly member twice, it's an extraordinary record. When he ran for, when I was a deputy and chief deputy and director for under Jerry Brown, uh, uh, lieutenant governor was very, very supportive in everything we were trying to accomplish. And when he ran uh, the second time, we put on an event for him out of Cal Expo and did a talent show. I mean, we've just been 
we've just been uh, colleagues in a way operating together except he was always at a higher station in life. Mr. Dimely mentored and brought along scores of African Americans into politics. He also guided a diverse group of politicians of all races, including former Assembly Speaker Robert Hertzberg, former Councilman Richard Alatori, and many other non-African American politicians. Los Angeles City Councilman Herb Wesson Jr., a former Assembly Speaker, said that no one has opened more doors of opportunity for people than Mr. Dimely and former Congresswoman Diane Watson said that Daimley was a powerful mover and shaker in California and few people had more political wisdom and savvy than he when he returned to the assembly. In his most recent term in the legislature, Mr. Daimley was referred to as the Dean of the Assembly and was affectionately called His Excellency by fellow assembly members because of the many titles he has had during his 40 years in public service. Although he is no longer in public office, Mr. Dimely is still serving the people. He is energetic, sharp, and focused on the same pressing issues that have driven his public career and personal life. Uh, Mr. Dimely, this is long, long overdue, but I congratulate you for first being a gentleman and a friend and then one of the most astute elected officials that I have ever worked with. You have affected so many policy arenas over your life. Uh, you should be not only uh, commended for it, but you are an icon and the history of your work should be truly documented for all young people in California to have an opportunity to know who you are. And I would submit that I bet you a lot of people walking over in the state capitol today and doing policy today would benefit from just having a little bit of personal time with you. You could teach people how to get things done and how to get them done quietly and how to get significant things done quietly. So I congratulate you. I am proud to be a part of this ceremony. I am proud of the Legislative Black Caucus for recognizing you. You will always have effect on my life as I move forward in the public arena. Mervyn Dimely is one of the legends of California political history. He was one of the first African Americans to become prominent in our state's politics. As a senator, uh, later as lieutenant governor, and then as a congressperson, he was there in the forefront, fighting the battles of civil rights, economic development, and mentoring so many young uh, political people who came after him. I'm very proud to say uh, Merv Dimely has been a friend of mine, I wish him well, and I'm very glad that he's upholding the finest traditions of us um, older folk who still cling to power. Merv, congratulations. I am deeply grateful to receive this honor, thanks to Chairman Price and members of the Legislative Black Caucus. For me, it's like homecoming. Preserving the legacy of this storied legislator and public servant, the historical papers documenting his service are housed at California State University at Los Angeles, his alma mater, and at the University of California, Los Angeles. Fortunately for all Californians, we still have this trailblazer in our midst, showing us the path of commitment and courage. He is a true warrior for equal rights, a spirited soldier for equal opportunity, and has never put down his sword. We thank God for his legacy. We thank God for Dr. Mervyn Malcolm Diamond.